Hi, everyone. Happy Friday and happy 4th of July weekend. Uh, this week, we're bringing you different market segments of our typical supply and demand numbers so that you guys have the knowledge of what you're purchasing or what you're trying to sell here in Northern Westchester. Stay tuned. Hi, everyone. I'm Jeff Green from Compass in Northern Westchester. And today we're talking single family homes from Briarcliff Manor to the south up to the top of the county, east to west. So let's dive right into the numbers. And uh, then we're going to talk about those stats I talked about in the intro. So new listings, 76, same as the week prior. We are seeing kind of healthy new listing inventory. Definitely not a slowdown in inventory. And definitely not some kind of fire sale market where all of a sudden all the sellers woke up and said it's time to sell. Uh, contracts down slightly from the week prior a good number to watch it's down 10 percent however that is still a very very strong number well within any of the markets that we saw you know prior to COVID. Uh, and then this is the last number the number you really want to watch every week is is inventory starting to creep up and I'm sure there are other parts of the country that this is happening but it's not happening in northern Westchester it went up one percent which is not even really a number we can play with because it could have just been some contracts didn't get signed in time so now that number i want to give you a quick backstory june 2019 at the end of the month there were 1615 homes on the market june 2022 at the end of the month there were 527. now i'm going to go on the fly here with my math but i believe that's one third so inventory is still way down. And I know that's been talked about and smashed in all your guys' faces during the whole thing of COVID, but still there's very little or low options on the market, which is not slowing down any of the demand that we have because contracts are still getting signed. All right, stay tuned for the next round of stats. So this week I decided to break it down a little bit and say, all right, well, is there one segment of the market that's at least pulling off and one maybe that's not? And I immediately thought, well, I would assume the higher end is pulling off because perhaps there's not as much urgency to buy a higher end home. And if there's, you know, speculation in the market and obviously the more money you're financing at a highest interest rate, the way more money you're paying in interest every year. And the funny thing is, is that, so check out these numbers. Um, in 2019, June 29, we're gonna compare June 2020, sorry, June 2022 to June 2019. And we're gonna break it down into zero to 650, 650 to a million and a million plus. So zero to 650 in 2019, there were uh, 577 homes on the market at the end of the market, at the end of the month, and there were 143 contracts signed. So let's fast forward, June 2022, there were 158 homes on the market, drastically less, and there were less contracts signed. So it went from 143 to 90, which I don't know, is it as steep as the drop in inventory, 577 to 158, 143 to 90. I'm not gonna drop percentages here. No, it wasn't as steep. And honestly, that number doesn't scam me whatsoever. Less options, less contracts. We've been saying that week after week. So let's take it up, 650 to 1 million. End of the month, 2019, there were 523. And there were 61 contracts signed that month. Now this gets interesting. End of the month 2022, there were 175 on the market and 71 homes got signed. So that market is stronger, really, if you think about the numbers, than the lower end, 0,650. And it kind of continues this way. So the, the let's call it the somewhat entry luxury to uber luxury. So a million plus. June 2019, there were 30, sorry, there were 540 homes on the market. 33 had been signed that month. June 2022, there were 199 homes on the market and 55 got signed that month. So that's even a higher percentage than the lower end market. So anyways, take the data and do what you want with it. But there's no slowdown per the numbers in the 650 and up markets, which I was really surprised. I thought as buying power went down, it would send some people down into the lower tiers and that market would get more competitive 
as it were, more people fighting over the lower priced homes. But nothing seems to be slowing down the middle and high end of the northern Westchester market. So that's it for this week, guys. I hope this that is helpful. It's sometimes good to look at it granular and get away from YouTube, get away from the news, the broadcast news sites. Uh, reach out to us anytime. My direct number is 914-350-6091, heygreen.com, or send me an email, jeffrey.green at compass.com. Keep watching for this week's Coming Soons.